who wants to take it to the altar if you are still single? Because he will tell you all of his errors are revelations. It's a big trouble. Knowledge and lack of it is terrible. Zeal gives you speed. But when you lack knowledge, it will be speed in a wrong direction. Lack of knowledge will make you run in a wrong direction. Lack of knowledge will make you run in a wrong direction. Very important to note. Lack of knowledge will make you run in a wrong direction. Therefore, having the correct knowledge is very, very critical to every relationship. For example, the knowledge of where a lady is is very important. Ladies are very fragile human beings. One thing that amazes me about the nature of a lady is that if a lady believes in you, she believes in you. Amen? Amen. That's what bothers me about the fragile nature of a lady. And therefore, every wise man must be careful not to kill, not to kill that nature. In other words, acquire enough knowledge not to turn your wife to a husband. Acquire enough knowledge not to turn that lady you are going out with that you want to marry. Don't make her a man. Let her retain her feminine nature and treat her as such. Amen? Amen. Treat her as such. So knowledge of who a child is, if God is blessed with children, will help you raise a champion out of each of those children. Knowledge of who a man is, if you're a lady that is married, will help you to make that man be the man he ought to be. Because the normal tendencies in relationship is that we want our spouses to be like we are. You want to make your husband think like a lady. And then the lady the man wants the lady to think like a man. That's like destroying the very soft, tender nature that God has put on a lady. Knowledge. Knowledge. The Bible says if you don't have knowledge of your spouse, your prayers will be hindered. So do a thousand day night vigil and endless fasting and prayer time if you don't have knowledge. If you don't have knowledge of your spouse, of the person you are going out with, who is this guy that wants to marry? Who is this lady that I want to marry? And you see, in doing this, I do hope I will have time. Otherwise, by Thursday, I will press into that how to keep a very profitable courtship. And I want to advise everybody dating, don't miss next Thursday. Every married counselors, don't miss next Thursday. We're going to be looking at relationship. If you say yes to a guy, what is the next thing to do? If a guy says yes to you, what is the next thing to do? God helping on Thursday, I will tell you 10 things to do for a very productive relationship without praying and reading Bible together. For that is the cover up of so many Christian relationships. So we're meeting to pray. We're meeting to read the Bible. That's good. Let's sustain that. But there are 10 other things we can do outside of beyond that. Amen? So let's start tying gradually together for our time. And let's run quickly. I remember Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Hosea 4, 6 to 7 also talk about the danger of not having adequate knowledge. Say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you, the priestly nation, have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you that you shall be no priest to me. See, you have forgotten the law of your God and I will also forget your children. Verse 7. The more they increase and multiply in prosperity and power, the more they sin against me I will change their glory into shame. That's what lack of knowledge do to anybody. When you lack knowledge, you suffer rejection, not just from God alone, but from men also. 
when you lack knowledge, you suffer rejection in your relationship. You suffer rejection in your relationship. That's what happened. When you lack knowledge, you will walk out of order and out of season in your relationship. You just do things unguidedly. When you lack knowledge, you will say what you should never say because it's just going to strain everything and kill all the process. That's what lack of knowledge does. Lack of knowledge kill relationship, strain relationship, destroy relationship. That's what lack of knowledge does. So knowledge is so inevitable and very critical. Some homes are threatened today, not because it's a demonic attack, it is a lack of knowledge attack. Ignorance, kill like the devil kills. So if you think it's only the devil that can kill, try ignorance and you will know that ignorance kills just like the devil kills. There are too many people in relationship today who are traders. They are not companions. A trader is just thinking, oh, what do I get out of this? They are users. They are not true companions. A companion can strip himself to exchange strength for your weakness. Sword. For you not having any sword. You just swap. That's what happened in companion and in relationship. Amen. Let's press quickly so that we can close back in Proverbs. <coughs> Excuse me. Back in Proverbs chapter 24. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increased strength. I'd like to read that to you from another translation. Let's look at the Amplified Translation of verse number 5. A wise man is strong and is better than a strong man. Look at that word. A wise man is strong and is better than a strong man. So becoming physically strong does not guarantee a good life. But being wise guarantees strength. A wise man is strong and is better than a strong man. And a man of knowledge increases and strengthens his power. That looks good. But you will appreciate this in the message translation and NLT translation. The message translation says, It's better to be wise than strong. Intelligence outranks muzzle any day. I need to explain that to you. Because today, I hear young ladies say, the guy has got muzzle. Oh, he's got parts. Oh, he's looking this. He's very attractive. He's a six-footer. He's got a baritone voice. Hear me? <laughs> Wisdom is stronger and deliver intelligence to you than hanging around men who flex in their muscles. Who show their six parts, so I'm told they call it. Who hang around and bounce around you. When you're a wise person, a wise lady, a wise man, you will notice I'm not company to keep because life do not submit to muscles. It submits to wisdom. Verse 6, to buy time, so that we close from there. Strategic planning is the key to warfare. To win, you need a lot of good counsel. How many counsel? A lot of good counsel. So if you look at verse 3, we had wisdom and understanding. Verse 4, we have knowledge and the power of knowledge. In verse 5 and in verse 6, we have instructions. Did you see that order? That is wookie trust for a healthy relationship. What have we said so far today? Let me close with verse 6, talk about strategic planning. Strategic planning, it is not strategic prayer. There are two different things. It's not strategic reading of the Bible. There are two different things. All that is fine and good. Is that okay? But you must 
plan yourself in a strategic manner to win all your battles. I read another transition that says, selective warfare keeps you wise. What kind of war? I'm going to look for best hands in my weak courses and keep such company so that I can be a complete material at the end of the studies. Is that a wise counsel for anybody? Strategic planning in business. You don't keep friends with people doing businesses who are failing repeatedly. They are struggling and both of you are consoling yourself. Oh boy, this is himself. This is himself. No. Somebody is hitting the jackpot. Look for such person and keep as a company and then learn the wisdom of strategic planning. What is that guy doing in his business that is keeping him relevant and I am still struggling in my business and learn strategic planning. It's very, very important. We'll build on from here and we'll look at some other very deep things but on Thursday I'm going to be focusing more for singles and those who are in an early stage of relationship. What to do when you date? How to date? What not to date? How to run and how not to run? We'll be looking at all of that by the time we come together in the name of Jesus. I do hope somebody is blessed today. And so what is it we've talked about today as we close? Number one, we have seen what wisdom can do. We've seen what understanding can do. We have seen what knowledge and lack of knowledge can do. And we have seen what taking instruction can do. If you learn to take instruction, then you will find great opportunities in good time. Can we pray together? I want to thank all our friends online. Today we have you from Nigeria, from South Africa, from Swaziland, from Ghana, from Morocco. Keep inviting your friends. Keep calling them from wherever they are and let them link up with us in the name of Jesus. So we'll be glad to see you on Thursday. May the Lord grant you the wicked trust, good understanding, of living your life and living your relationship and enhancing people around you in the name of Jesus. If you know that song, we have somebody from France also. Thank you for joining both on radio and on Facebook. Of course, we have from Gambia, from Senegal. We thank God for all of you. We'll see you again. Sing that song if you can. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I need you. I need you. You need me. We all are part of God's body. Stand with Light. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Oh, yeah. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you. I pray for you. Pray.